Now, how do you use ChatGPT instead of Siri on the iPhone? Let's talk about that. But before we get started, most definitely ensure that you are subscribed to this channel and you're not going to miss anything important. So on the iPhone, what you can do is to download the a GPT app at first, but then we move over to the shortcuts application where you can start a brand new shortcut. From the actions, you're going to look up obviously the chat GPT. And from those, you basically just choose to the, you click on the voice mode. And the voice mode is going to be activated whenever this shortcut gets activated, right? So this is the um, shortcut that we need to create. It's going to look like this. And then inside of your settings of the iPhone, you customize the action button. So the action button is right above your volume buttons and it might be used for many different things. So we're going to specifically pick the voice mode for the chat GPT. So whenever you hold down on it, it goes directly to that mode. It kind of needs a second to load up properly, but you basically just don't hold it down on the power button to activate Siri, but you hold down on the action button to activate the voice mode of chat GPT. So I guess that works out. It's obviously not ideal because we still don't have the ability to replace like the default uh, voice assistant on the iPhone, but this at least gets the job done, sort of. So let me know what you think about that below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later in the next tutorials.